Thor's shoulder, but Charles Martin took the shot at McMahon well after the ball was thrown and slammed him to the turf. Here's you can the see play. the ball is gone, and here's McMahon standing there. Here comes Martin. Ball is long gone. What is this? Wow, man, that, now that's, that that's is, ridiculous. Uh, I, he should be out of the game. Yeah, I think there's going to be an ejection. Mike Ditka is out Ditka on the football field. on the field, field with Jerry Markwright. I mean, that was a good second and a half, two seconds after the, the ball was downfield, and McMahon didn't even see Martin behind him. Well, we expected the rough stuff here, but we didn't expect uh, to see something quite that flagrant. A discussion with Mark Wright and his colleagues. And and here's how it happened in regular speed. This is just the way it happened live. One, two. Now, they're, they're, uh, if he's got to be out of the football game. And there's another uh, critical situation here. This game is going to get out of hand if the referees don't take a firm charge because the Bears are, are, are very mad about that. Uh, you know what happened last last year when Ken Stills hit uh, Matt Sui. We say that there's uh, no love loss between the two teams, but now it is getting out of hand. Jerry Markbright's got a job ahead of him. We saw Keith Van Horn, one of the first Bear offensive linemen to come back and push Martin away. And Martin is gone. Now, he was wearing a little towel on his belt with the numbers written on it of the guys that he intended to try and get some licks on. And on that list was we quarterback Jim McMahon. This interception by Green Bay. After the interception, we have a personal foul, disqualifying foul. Number 94, Green Bay. It's Green Bay's ball. First and 10 after 15-yard penalty. First down. Now there's Charles Martin, number 94. What are they congratulating him for? Third-year man from Livingston College. And he has been playing real well on the nose.